Hi guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you through an antique store called My Treasure House, which is located in Edwardsville, Illinois. My Treasure House is where one of my antique booths is located. My booth is called Green Onion Vintage. And if you've been ordering Iron Orchid designs from me, you've actually been talking with Cindy, who is the shop owner here at My Treasure House. I will give all of their contact info down in the description box below. They're very active on Facebook, so if you want to get in touch with them about ordering something that you see in today's video, you can message them over on their My Treasure House Facebook page, and I will put the booth names um, as I go along in, the, in this video. So if there's something that you want to purchase, you can tell Cindy that it's in such and such booth and maybe give her a timestamp of when it appears in my video so that would help her kind of narrow down the item that you're talking about if you would like her to ship something or if you would just like to know something about a price. Now I'm starting in the front of the store today which is where Cindy and Bill who are the shop owners have all of their antiques and refinished furniture and wholesale items and home decor. So they kind of have everything up in the front of the store. They also sell general finishes paint and then, like I said, all of the Iron Orchid design transfers, stamps, and molds. I'm actually going to be doing a Iron Orchid design video in within the next week. I've already filmed it, so it's almost ready to go. And I'm just going to take you through everything that they have up, up at the shop as far as the Iron Orchid design inventory. And if you guys want to order from Cindy, um, that would be a really good time for you to kind of look through everything that's available. And I will even give you some prices too. So that video is coming up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button if you would like to be alerted when that video comes out because that would give you guys a chance to shop the Iron Orchid Design inventory. And Cindy is willing to ship across the country and she's also willing to order more if something runs out. So um, she's a really great Iron Orchid Design stockist if you are needing somebody to purchase your Iron Orchid Design stuff from. So... Um, that information will be down below also and I will have all of that in my upcoming video this week. I'm kind of walking you through now just the front of the store. I will let you shop with me, listen to some music, and then I will hop back on in a minute. So as you can see, Cindy and Bill have a real variety of things here for you guys to purchase. They are really great at refinishing furniture, so most of the painted pieces you see here are pieces that they've done themselves. Um, and this table right here I wanted to point out, that is using the Iron Orc Design paint inlays, and they're brand new. Um, so they're going to be available in that upcoming video that I was talking about. But they're a little bit different than a transfer in that they're actually paint that you lay into your painted piece and they're reusable. Now I haven't tried them yet, so I can't give you a ton of details about how they work, but that's what those blue florals were on the top of that desk, is the Iron Orchid Design paint inlays. Um, Cindy has seemed to really like them, so I will try to maybe have some information about those more in that upcoming video. 
Um, now there's a lot of different styles here too. Um, throughout the whole store, if you're looking for traditional furniture, mid-century modern, we have a lot of rustic pieces in my booth particularly. Um, so really, whatever you're looking for, we tend to have it. And if we don't have it right now, there's something coming up soon that will probably suit your tastes. We're definitely always kind of moving through our inventory, even when it's slow. They, we're still rearranging, still bringing in new items. So I, I feel like we have regulars who come shop my treasure house on an almost weekly basis just because they enjoy walking through here. And it is definitely that kind of store where you just like to come through and get inspired. Um, it was a store that I really enjoyed shopping at even before I had a booth here. And I love having a booth here because I have so many options as far as things that I can sell. So as you can see there, she's made some welcome signs out of um, I think bed posts. I thought those were really cool and they're each $69 and a quilt rack. Um, so I love that I can also do things like that that are handmade, upcycled antiques, painted furniture, any kind of home decor. So I can really be creative with the things that I sell in the shop and that's made it really enjoyable to be a part of this place. Now we are rounding the corner into the Trash to Treasure booth. This is owned by Jay and Kim, and they are experts at what they do. They are out thrifting all the time, um, and I am just amazed at the things that they find and bring into their booth. So they are a mixture of, home, of wholesalers and antique vendors. Um, they always have something creative and whimsical, and they're one of the funnest ones to look through because you never know what they're going to find. Right now they have a lot of the um, like cow paintings that are really popular. And then just an assortment of antiques mixed in uh, and also furniture. So they just sold a really big piece that was right here that was really, really cool and primitive. Um, so the tables and the shelf are brand new to the shop. And um, they just have like a lot of other little trinkets and stuff that you can go through. They do a lot of shows during the year also and they travel all over the country sourcing their items. So this is always a really fun booth to shop. And once again, this is Trash to Treasure. So if you see something in here that you want to know the price of and you want to message Cindy on Facebook, this is the Trash to Treasure booth.
The next booth here is Cottage and Country. She is still kind of moving in because she's new to the shop here in January, but I did want to show you some of her handmade things that she's done, upcycled things, and also um, a lot with like the Iron Archer Design stamps and I think the transfer is also up on the wall. So she has a really good assortment of ideas for you if you're also using Iron Orchid Design products. Up next is Miss Megan's Attic. Megan is also fairly new to the store. She's been here just a few months, so it's been really fun to see what she's going to bring in. She has been refinishing furniture, doing some upcycling projects with the Iron Orchid designs, as you can see there with that cute little kettle. Um, her furniture always turns out really well. I love that transfer on there on the top. So that table is $79, which is a really great, great price for an entryway table like that or a sofa table. Um, she's also bringing a, a mix of wholesale items and antiques, so her booth has been really fun to watch grow and to see what she's going to bring in next. Next up, we have Dusty Relics. This is another mother-daughter team, and they have brought in a really great assortment of antiques, including antique furniture, some upcycled painted furniture, and just some really cute little antique trinkets. So I've also really enjoyed shopping their space as well. Next up is the booth called Bullet Bling. Now Chris is one of the vendors who has been around the shop, I do believe longer than my mom and I have been. So we've been there um, pushing four years, I think, maybe three. Oh gosh, I should have done the math first. I think four. Yes, four years. So Chris was there even before we moved to this location, which um, we were also, but just for a few months. She handcrafts jewelry and bot bottle openers like you see right here using real bullet shells. So. She has true artistry going on here. I mean, that necklace was made by her, and I'm going to show you in a, in a minute um, all of her, like, necklaces and earrings also. She's really very crafty and creative, always has something interesting, and she's just a really talented painter also. Sometimes she'll have, like, these really intricately painted rocks that look, look very lifelike. Um, she'll turn them into, like, frogs or turtles. So she definitely has a very whimsical eye. She also mixes in antiques, so her booth is always really fun to check out, too.
Moving on now to Rethunk Junk. Uh, Don is another vendor who's been around for years. He was um, at my treasure house even before my mom and I were. And he's really become an expert on painted furniture. He obviously, as you can see, cranks out a lot of work. He has painted so many pieces of furniture as long as I've been here. I can't even guess how many pieces he's sold. And everything he does is done really well and thorough and it's very durable paint finish. So he's very popular in the shop here. I would say he excels at like the mid-century modern pieces. I don't know where he finds them all, but he does a really good job of sourcing a variety of styles, but especially mid-century modern. So if you're looking for some neutral colored furniture that is painted really well, that'll probably last for a really long time, and especially that mid-century modern look, this is the booth for you. Once again, it's Rethunk Junk. Now it's time to look through my booth, Green Onion Vintage. I do this booth with my mom, and if you're new to my channel, I have a really hard time summarizing exactly what our style is, but we really enjoy refinishing antique furniture. So sometimes that means we repaint things, other times that means that we just refinish the old wood and bring it back to life and shine it up and fix things, especially my dad when he's helping. Uh, making things sturdy again, uh, making the old pieces work like they used to. So we've really gotten really passionate about refinishing old furniture and making it work again in a modern home. So as far as our style, I feel like we're pretty eclectic. Sometimes we could go farmhouse, very rustic. We tend to stay pretty casual with our style and as much as we kind of try to keep up on the trends, we really just kind of do what we want to do and it ends up working out okay. Somehow our styles work well enough together that there's not a lot of clashing. We really just do our own thing and then combine our pieces into our booths together and it works out. And so that's been really fun for us to be doing together. We definitely try to source antiques. I do a lot more crafts and handmade items and upcycling projects. Whereas my mom, um, she's able to go to more estate sales and auctions and actually find a lot more small antique pieces and then also antique furniture. So my mom is really sourcing things from all over the place. Like I said, she's going to auctions. She's doing more estate sales, yard sales. She's scouring Facebook Marketplace. 
Um, with COVID, it has been a real battle to try to get the good stuff, but um, we're hanging in there. Our booth sales have been all over the place and we're just taking it one month at a time, basically, and just trying to keep this like a fun side business. Um, so once again, our booth is called Green Onion Vintage. A lot of the DIY projects that I do on my channel, I end up selling in my booth. So like those rolling pins that you're looking at right there, those are something that I've done on my channel before. So make sure you're subscribed if you haven't yet so that you can watch me do those. And I would love to do a booth sales recap soon, but my sales have been so sad that I have not brought myself to make a profit video for you guys, even though I know that you guys have been asking for them, especially if you are also an antique vendor. Um, I can't say that my booth sales were great in 2021, but as, as poor as my booth has done, my YouTube has really picked up. So it's been okay, and I really like having a booth and a space to sell the things that I'm making, but thank goodness for YouTube in 2021 because to be able to have a virtual business that I can do online and make a little bit of side money that way, that has been really working out for me, and I'm just so grateful to everybody who supported me especially in 2021 because my channel grew um, like crazy. I got monetized in 2021. So it's just been really an exciting journey for me and definitely not where I thought my antique booth business would take me when I started this about four years ago. So it's been oh, a pretty wild ride and most of you guys have been along there that with me and I have some really loyal followers on YouTube who I've gotten to know and it's just been really great. So thank you guys for your support. That pie cabinet that I'm looking at or jelly cabinet um, is so cool. If I have the space in my house for something like that, that is the kind of pieces that I think really brings character into a home. It's just like a big old, I do believe, pine um, jelly cabinet. We still have some of the pieces that we've had for a while that have been painted. So this blue buffet, I don't know why it's not going anywhere. I do think we just marked it down a little bit. Let me see if I show you the sale price is 150 um, so that one's really cool. I don't remember which Dixie Belle color that is, but that is one of the Dixie Belle blues. And if you want to order Dixie Belle paint from me, I do have an Etsy site where I sell most of the paint colors and some of the finishes as well. I don't carry the silk line yet, but that is hopefully coming up in the future. So I will keep you guys posted if I start selling the silk mineral paint as well as the Dixie Belle chalk paint. I still have this gingham painted chest, but my mom just brought in this low boy that she painted white and that came out really pretty. It has the wavy front drawers. So she's asking 220 for that. We haven't had a white piece in our booth for a while and it actually feels really good to have something white in there because it gives your plate, it gives your eye somewhere to kind of rest and take a break because we've had a really, a really long run of just like heavy either wood pieces or brightly painted pieces but we really used to do a lot of white furniture especially when we started so it feels good and natural for us to have a white piece in here it makes me want to do another one soon so that is a piece that you guys have not seen in a booth tour yet and then this gray hutch you haven't seen either I actually think I called it gray but I actually think this is the collared greens from Dixie Belle so it's more of a greenish gray um, just an old, probably vintage oak hutch. I would not say this is antique. And then the sale price we just put on there is $3.25. So you're going to look through the booth. We like to have hutches, especially in our booth, because they hold so many smalls. And it's definitely a combination of smalls and big pieces that pay your rent. But you really, as a vendor, want the smalls to be covering your rent and then your bigger pieces to be more profitable for you. Right now our inventory is not very high. I I mean I had a baby in 2021 and so my ability to go shopping for antiques has drastically reduced and even my time to be making handmade things. So I know our inventory right now is kind of low. Um, we are struggling with that but hopefully looking for some more opportunities soon to get out there and get some new inventory for you guys to look at.
Okay, so real quickly before I let you go, I wanna show you the iron orchid design area of my treasure house. And this is where I'm gonna be shopping with you later this week and showing you everything that Cindy has on hand for you to order. So this is all of the iron orchid design stuff right here, but I'm gonna let you go for today. So make sure you subscribe if you wanna watch that video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and looking through my treasure house. Once again, all the contact info will be down below in the description box. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.